Hi guys, welcome to Brain Attic. Today, we are going to learn about a very good tool, Overleaf. Overleaf is basically a text compiler. And on Overleaf, you can write documents, create presentations like never before. It is mainly used in the academic domain for research purposes. A lot of you might be familiar with it in your college days. But however, people still refrain from using it. But once you start using it, I think you will hardly ever move back to say Microsoft Word or a Google Doc. So let's begin. If you just Google Overleaf on your browser, you will find this. You have to create an account over here. The process is very simple. You will have to register with an email ID and a free plan account will be created. There are some benefits of having a premium plan. You can see. So you can have more project collaborators, longer compile timeouts, uh, real time track changes you can have. You can access GitHub, Git and Dropbox integrations, advanced reference search, simple, uh, simple palette, full document history you can observe. Uh, Zotero and Mendeley integrations are also available. So these are Zotero and Mendeley and these are the GitHub and the Dropbox. So premium is somewhat I'll recommend to you, but today I'm going to show you a free plan. So as you can see, I have created a test uh, folder or test document or test project already for you. And if you open it, we can see that we have this main project which is created. So the file is loading. So if you press Control S or Control Enter or simply a recompile over here, you will see that your project will get created. This sometimes takes a bit time, depends on the size of the file which you have. So this is right now it's empty. We don't have anything. Uh, I have another sample text document for you where I have written some, uh, taken some assignments and I have uh, prepared it for you. So if you see, right, we have some use packages. So if you want to have math equations, you have to use AMS maths, AMS symbols for some math symbols, complexity. So these are just packages which you have to in, uh, integrate in your project. This will make your project more beautiful and as per your requirement. So here you can see, right, we have the document as we wish to and all the information is there and it's in a very presentable format. Here, if you press right, you can recompile the document and here are the warnings which are available. Sometimes when you're preparing a research project, uh, errors are not uh, errors are not required and you just want the warnings to be there. The benefit with Overleaf over any other text compiler is that it even ignores some of the errors and prepares your document. So you can have your PDF ready as per uh, even even if there are some errors in it. And as you can see inst uh, instructions. So this is how all these instructions are there. Like if you want to create a paragraph, you can write paragraph and then instructions begin enumerate enumerate basically gives you one, two, three bullet points. If you want to have something like uh, bullets, then you have to put itemize begin questions. So you can put questions and you can start begin parts. So here you can give parts and uh, two points, two points, two points information will come. So it is very convenient. All you have to do is to write in a code. Uh, format uh, programming language format and we call it as a text language now uh, sometimes you need an additional file to compile your project so this sample which i'm going to show you right this sample file requires structure.txt for it to compile if i don't give that structure.txt it will not compile so right now i have the structure.txt it has some information i'll just show you first we'll compile this file so this file somehow looks like this right now okay and all the information which we need is available. It's written over here. And if we just uh, control F, control H will help us search within this. So we are looking for structure.txt. So you can see, right? Input structure.txt file is there. And what does this structure.txt file has? It has all the package information which we need. So theorem style definition, new theorem definition, all this. So basically to make this suitable for this format. Now, if I remove this, delete the structure.txt, I see how I'm deleting the file. It's very helpful actually to understand this as well. And come back to sample 2 of file, sample 2.txt, and I compare, uh, compile it. See, it is looking for the structure.txt. It's not able to find, and hence it is not able to produce the PDF. 
uh, one more thing which I would like to tell you is that how you can create a new folder so just by clicking on this icon over here cancel this is a new file if you click on here our new file uh, you can give any name and dot text is the extension which you have to provide and a new file can be created if you click on this folder you have a new folder will be created suppose we want a folder for figures so we write figures over here and create so here you can see that a new folder for figures has been created suppose you want to upload some file um some figure from your uh, computer or any other project or any mendeley or zotero you can just select it from here and you can bring it to your project so this is it uh, here you can share the project with other people as well suppose you have any collaborators working on the same project you can share the project you can give them a edit access or a read only access by clicking over here and uh, history will uh, tell you what are the changes which you have made so i have deleted that structure.txt so that is visible over here i created that structure.txt is also visible over here so in the history you will find all that information um, now so let's go to some real world project a lot of us uh, use overly for academic research processes and for that we need to know how we can uh, we usually submit to an IEEE conference or something like that. So we'll search for an IEEE template. If we go here, we see IEEE template selector. We click on this, select publication type. We want to write a conference, we select conference. It's asked for a select article type. We are doing an original research. What is your format? So basically Overleaf uses latex and not word. So we'll click on latex and now it will say download template. I have already downloaded the template and I have it over here with me. So what I'll do is I'll come here, click on new project, I'll upload the project, select a zip file and this PC, E drive, brain attic and I'll upload this zip file. So as you can see the zip file is uploaded and I have the conference template ready. So this is the text file if it is getting compiled and this is how the conference template will look like it has some pre uh, gibberish data all written over here which you have to edit and make it suitable for your reference here is a image which is available so our dot image we may see that the dot image will be also busy so this is how a dot image will be visible to you you can take this as a reference on how to include figures all these use package information is there i'll share some of the use packages which i often use um, i'll share this in the uh, description of the video and uh, this this will help more or less cover all the parts you can comment out or bring in whatever packages you want from this side and uh, so this is how it is welcome to overleaf i hope you enjoy using it and write as much document as possible for your work purposes. Thank you.